guys hope you're having a great day today I thought that I would come to you today with a new project pan challenge yes I'm still doing pan that palette you can hear widget trying to get out because I have the bedroom door shut so that I can keep kind of um, keep her in here so that she's not in there causing a ruckus so if you hear all that that's her trying to claw through my door just say Anyway, but I'm still doing Pan That Palette. I'm still doing 7 by Spring. Um, so now, um, what I'm going to be doing, in addition to all of that, is finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. And this is actually a collab video, which it is attacking my hand. Um, she's trying to mess with my air conditioner. I said quit. Anyway. So this is going to be a collab video. This is going to be a collab video done with my friend Andrea. Hey, is Shudra Star Gleam here on YouTube. I will annotate that down below. Definitely go check out her video and see what her five products are. So, um, anyway, so without further ado, as I'm getting all uncomfortable here, let's get this thing started. Um, the first thing... Um, these are all products that are not going to come back into my collection for one reason or another. So these are not things that I'm using up just because they're old and I love them and I want to buy them back. These are things that for one, they're, they're not coming back. So the first one was my very favorite lip gloss back in the Bare Minerals days. You can only get it in a kit. There was um, a face fashion kit. Um, I can't remember the name of it anymore. But um, it was the only way you could get it unless you got it on eBay or something. And uh, this is my second tube because um, I lost my first tube and my friend actually got on eBay and got me another one a few Christmases ago. And, uh, but this is my very favorite. It was their all natural line. Um, this is Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in Plum Teeny. It is a beautiful plum. It's a sheer plum with a purpley duochrome. Let's see if I can get a decent swatch. It's very sheer. It is absolutely gorgeous. It makes my lips look full. It goes with everything. And it still smells like glazed donuts. Okay, the next thing is a sample that I got from Brianna on my very first order that I ever ordered from her a year or so ago. It may have been longer than that. But it's a color that has never been released to my knowledge unless it's under a different name and I don't think it is. But it's called OOAK, which I think is one of a kind. And it is this beautiful smoky purple. Let's see if I can get a swatch of that. I don't spill it. And that is gorgeous. I could see that in the crease, smoky eyes. Um, using it as a smoky eyeliner, so many things under the lower lash line, but um, it's got some sheen to it. It, um, I can't really describe it properly, but that's what it looks like. The next thing is a kind of an ambitious choice. This is a practically new mini fresh sugar honey, and it is practically brand new. I've used it maybe five times. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, let's see here. I have another eyeshadow. Um, this is a sample of Geek Chic Battle Dress. Now this is one of those, it is actually not a bad color. I don't like it as it comes. I usually put it over a darker kind of a bronze base. So Hmm. Let me see if I can get this open. But that's what it looks like, if you can see that. And then let me see if I can get a swatch. And it's a beautiful kind of a light peach ice kind of color. Um, great for the inner corner on its own. Um, if I were to ever buy it again, it would still be in the sample form because um, it's not something that I use. Like, I went on a jag with it, and I used quite a bit of it. I don't know if you can tell. Because normally they're all, like, you can't see, and so I used all the extra. But, yeah. But I used quite a bit of it. 
but I just, you know, I just want to take it and, and get rid of it and, you know, maybe replace it with a darker peach or a darker bronze or copper color that I would actually wear um, and not have to tweak it so much. And the last thing is actually two things, but they're the same thing, so I'm counting them as one. Um, I have this. This is the Freeman Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask for Normal and Combo Skin. Um, I wanted a purifying mask, so I picked this up. And then I didn't realize I had it, and I picked up one of these, because I'm always picking up these little packets. And, um, yeah, I don't like the way it smells. It smells like baby powder, and I don't like it. So I'm going to, it does what it does what it's supposed to do and everything. I'm just really weird about smells. So I'm going to try to get in the habit of using this twice a week so that I can get this gone. And that, my friends, is 5 by Cinco de Mayo. Um, are you... Um, are you participating in any of these Project Pan challenges this year? I know some of you have already told me, but um, this is another option. You have four and a half, five months um, to finish five products. So uh, let me know what you're doing if you're trying that out or Pan That Palette or 7 by Spring. And uh, I can't wait to hear. You guys have a great one.